Hey everyone! I never do these monthly favourite videos because number one, I never usually have anything that I need to talk about, anything that's really particularly stood out as a favourite for me in the month and also because I just don't have faith in myself that I always keep up with them so I'm not making no promises at the beginning of this one, it's just I had a lot of things to talk about this month that have become a favourite for me and some things that I've just picked up really these are just a few things that I'm loving this January So the first thing, being a blogger and being all organised and all, I like to think that I'm an organised person, but I think a lot of people feel like this at the beginning of the year, where you buy a diary and you're like, right, this year I'm going to write everything down, I'm going to remember it, I'm going to keep to schedules, plan in advance, and everything is going to be nice and organised. Well, I think that is how the... I'm beginning the year off by thinking that to myself. So I have bought myself a nice little diary. You might have already seen it if you follow me on Instagram. This diary I really, really love. I went on the hunt looking for a diary for, uh, for ages. I don't know why, but I'm always so particular about the type of diary that I want. And I found this one, which was on Old Dear. It says on there 2017, which is in copper. And on the side, if you can just see that on the side, it pages are copper which I just think is really, really pretty. On the back there as well, it's also just got old deer written on the back. I was going to go for a daily journal that didn't have dates in there. And I guess the idea of those are so that you have no pages that go to waste. But in my mind, that would make me really less organised because I like to be able to see the weeks ahead and just keep up to date. You know with a diary so having this one like this one is just like a simple diary it's got in there written all of the dates and also at the beginning it has a list which has a lot of dates inside there if you can see that I absolutely love this diary because it's got this leaf print on it and that is a massive favorite for me this month I've sort of become a new plant lady. I'm obsessed with anything that's leaf printed, greenery on it. So that is my first January favourite for this month. To some people this is probably a little bit of a weird January favourite but as I mentioned I have become a little bit of a plant lady recently and I had not a bad day but I had a little bit of a just a bit of a rubbish day a few weeks ago and instead of going and buying chocolate or sweets I went into Ikea and bought myself two plants. So this is one of the plants and this is the other one. I'm not entirely sure, well okay, this one is a Peperomia. don't have a massive knowledge on plants so I don't, I'm not too sure. My mum tells me that this one is a money tree, I've got it in this pot and it's quite hard to get out. I basically just seen them and thought they were so pretty, the leaves on it are really really lovely and also this one as well I love this one because the leaves are really big and they're really like shiny as well these come in massively massively handy if you are a blogger and you do a lot of flat lays and that kind of thing they're just absolutely great for props you kind of like taking photos sometimes and you think something's missing and you add in a plant and it's it's all fine so i am absolutely massively into my plants at the moment i feel like i'm going to start like a little garden in my room because i just love them so much so bit of a strange one but if you like your plants then you'll like this one i really want to talk about my phone case because i got this recently this is from a place called vertigo vibes so i'll link those down below like i said mega plant lady at the moment i am loving this print and this is why I really opted for this one. I also love the fact that this case is really soft and my phone just feels so secure because I'm one of those people that drops my phone all the time and like surprisingly, I shouldn't say this, but never really broken my phone, I shouldn't say that. I think I feel really safe and protected having this case on it. So it's another monthly favorite. <laughs> Next thing I wanted to talk about is some hand cream. So this time of year I always 
always suffer from having really bad dry hands and sometimes it gets to the point where they just become so painful. I always used to use hand creams that I used to put on my hands and you always feel so greasy. I used to just end up washing my hands and taking it straight back off again. I actually went into the body shop sometime last year with my friend. I wasn't even really browsing for myself but I just walked away he was paying at the counter and just having a little look around. I noticed that they did hand cream and I think on that day I had quite dry hands and I thought, oh, I'll just use a bit of a tester and just use our hands. I mean, as we all do, I'm sure we've all been into a shop and tried on the perfume on a day where we've like forgot to put our perfume on. And then I put it on and I thought, actually, this is like amazing. So I'm a massive lover of the Body Shop moisturiser, but I always think that those moisturisers feel so soft but never greasy they never feel like they have any like heavy oils in them so they always feel really matte on your skin the hand cream does the exact same it just feels really nice and very moisturizing on your hands but without that greasy horrible feeling that i hate they come in so many different smells so this one i picked up is mango i think that this one that smells like really it smells like a yogurt so it smells really, really nice and fruity, like those fruity yogurts that you get. They come in lots of other smells, like I know they do a pink grapefruit one, I think they do a coconut one, I even spotted an argan oil one. They do loads of different ones and they always smell just so nice. next few things I want to talk about are actually from Primark. I haven't really been in Primark for a long time and had a proper look around the place, see what there is. So I haven't really picked up a lot but these are just some things that I popped in recently and had a look. I was actually trying to kill time before my bus was due. Strangely I didn't think that I would be including this in my January favourites video because I've never even really been a fan of these. I don't really know where this, this has come from. I picked up these hoop earrings from Primark. So I think you get one, two, three, you get five sets of earrings. So I actually have the little ones in, and these are really the reason why I bought the set because I really wanted the smallest ones. No, I think I always have loved hoop earrings, but they've always had that sort of connotation that they're quite chavy, so I've always stepped away from them. But if I'm honest, I really love a little bit of chav sheet. This set I love because you just get loads of different sizes in there and they're literally a pound, like a pound for all those. I don't know if I'm quite brave enough to wear the bigger ones, but I think that they're definitely something that I would maybe think about putting on on a night out or want to dress up a little bit more. They're really quite understated to be honest because they're not massive, massive hoops. They're quite delicate, really, in a sense. I love the fact that they're gold. They had some silver ones in there as well, which I'm kind of thinking about buying as well. So as you have Valentine's Day coming up, whether you love it or not, there's so much lingerie that comes out this time of year, which is just to die for. I really think at the moment, and I was actually speaking about it the other day on, I think it was Twitter, about the fact that Primark are absolutely killing it at the moment in terms of lingerie. I absolutely adore lingerie and I could probably just buy it even if I didn't need it. I'd literally just buy it because I just find lingerie so pretty. I found this set in Primark. It's just so, so pretty. I was actually just going to get the, the top, which is like bralette. I just seen it laying around the shop and I was like, oh, I wonder if they have any more of those because it wasn't in my size. They had loads of them. I've kind of been after a bra like this for a while. I love this whole like applique that's on it. It's got a nice little band around the back there. So there's not too much detail at the back. I absolutely adore this crossover bit at the back. It just looks so pretty. So that's the top and then the bottoms as well. These are just quite, quite risque at the front, shall we say. On the side it's got this applique on them as well. And I, like I said, wasn't going to go for the bottoms, but really, really love those. And I just think that it goes really nice as a set for Valentine's Day. If you're looking for a nice set or perhaps, I don't know, on the wild whim, there might be a boy watching this video and might think, you know what, my girlfriend might like those, so they're very, very pretty. And they also had lots of different colours in them as well. The top of that was £8 and the bottoms were £4, so that is insane for a set. A lot cheaper than if you were going to go to somewhere like Anne Summers, although they always have absolutely gorgeous lingerie this time of year. 
Another trend that I am massively into at the moment is the fishnets trend which is going round at the moment. I think a lot of people are like layering them under ripped jeans. If you've seen my blog post I recently did that with my jeans. I love doing that because ripped jeans this time of year are absolutely freezing but if you put a pair of fishnet tights underneath then it just adds that like extra layer of warmth and as they've got like holes in it's supposed to be better for like ventilation so it's supposed to keep you like more warm. I'll just wear them on their own as well with like a nice skirt or something like that. I was thinking about getting the ones with the big gaps in. I couldn't find any of those and then after a while I was sort of considering if I'd be brave enough to wear those at the moment because it's quite cold um, and I'm a bit of a wimp to be honest when it comes to cold weather. So I just picked up these ones. Get two pairs of them. I've already took a pair out but I left those in there so I could show you. These are just three pounds. Look at them, you probably wouldn't really think they were like fishnet, but they do stretch quite well. That's why I love them, so you can sort of get in on the trend if you're not feeling massively confident about showing off like too much of your leg. But like me, I'm not a massive fan of my legs, so I, I really like these that they're quite small holes in them. The thing that I'm really, really loving, and I'm planning on doing a video soon, I have one t-shirt that I really really want to order so I'm kind of waiting before I get that t-shirt before I film the video but I really want to do a video on like my t-shirt collection sort of like a band t-shirt collection also including t-shirts that aren't bands like this one so this is in my favourite this month because I really really love this trend that's going around at the moment which you've probably seen like massively everywhere for the Metallica, ACDC t-shirts, Leia I mean there's like so many of them at the moment but I am not into any of those bands and I don't I don't know if this is like a controversial subject but I am not one of those people that really likes wearing band t-shirts if I don't listen to that band I just don't see the point in it absolutely love the style of it and I have come so close to buying one but I just kind of feel like I don't know because I feel like if someone asks me oh so you love them I'll be like well no I'm just wearing it because I look cool that's just my opinion I really wish bands that I was into bought better t-shirts out so I'm just putting that out there like can some indie band have some better band t-shirts please then I can start wearing them so it's kind of got that like font that kind of looks a little bit like Metallica and because I love that t-shirt trend, I seen this one in Zara and I went in there actually to return some trousers that I had that didn't fit me and I just spotted this when I was in there. I just fell in love with it. I kind of have an obsession with buying things on that say babe. Like I don't know where that's come from but I love things that say babe. Like I don't think I go towards them, I just notice. Oh, I like that and then I'm like... Oh, it has babe on it, but okay, that's fine. This one says, good news, babe. I don't know what that means, but I really like it. So easy to style. I love anything that's easy to style. I'm like massively into anything black and white. Which you'll probably be able to tell if you read my blog because I'm quite a simple, basic person, to be honest. I love stuff like that. Last I just wanted to touch on music because music, like I mentioned last year, is something I really really want to bring into my YouTube videos and I just thought it would be nice to do, if I do continue to do these favourites videos, I'd just love to talk about things I've been watching, listening to, that type of thing at the moment. This month I am massively, massively into Sundara Karma, so I went on Tuesday night to go and see Tudor Cinema Club. But Tudor Cinema Club is also another band that I am absolutely loving this month. I've probably listened to their albums like a million times to get ready to go and see them. And their new album is one of my favourites. I absolutely love it so much. I've just been loving Sundara Karma because I kind of feel like they are bigger than what they are. So when we went to go and see them support Tudor Cinema Club, not a lot of people seem to actually know them. And I was really surprised because I was like, these always get played on the radio. Like whenever I'm listening to it, I always hear it on the radio. I'm really surprised they aren't bigger than what they are because they are so good. Their new albums just came out and I'm really, really loving it. I think one of my favourites on there is Olympia. I love Flame, obviously. So if you're really into like indie bands, then definitely go and check those out because they're one of my favourites this month. <laughs> Also, 
I wanted to talk about a TV program I've been loving recently. You probably already know about this or the fact that I've been watching it. I really love watching The Affair. So it's into its third season now. So if you haven't started watching it, I absolutely urge you to watch it because I am addicted to it. So I'll explain it if you have never watched it. It's basically, it's called The Affair, so obviously you know it's about an affair. It follows two people, Dominic West and Ruth Wilson. So it's those are the main two characters. In the beginning of it, it sort of follows those two. Like, this isn't no spoilers, they have an affair. And it's basically about, I think, sort of branching off from there, following their family and their sides of the story, which I just really like. But then alongside it, there's also a court case running. So it's really sort of mysterious and it sort of switches between the two. It's one of those series that just grips you. You watch it and then you really want to see the next one because something happens at the end that makes you really want to watch the next one. The third season, I'm absolutely loving it. Halfway through it now, I think, if you're into that, thriller sort of mysterious kind of thing and you love a little bit of romance and that's definitely for you okay so i just really wanted to say thank you for watching this video and i really really hope that you enjoyed it if you did then give it a thumbs up make sure that you subscribe and leave a comment i'd really appreciate it really hope that you enjoyed watching this video everyone bye hey guys one of these um I think you... <laughs>